Hello, and welcome to another Nerd Leading the Nerd unboxing with Drew. So I wanted to do something different this time. So I decided to head over to Etsy and check out what kind of mystery boxes they had over there. And I came across a company called Geek Crate. And from the looks of it, they have a decent array of mystery boxes. A lot of things that are gamer themed, Pokemon themed. They have a Marvel mystery box, Star Wars mystery box. And I believe the one that I went for was just a generic geek and gamer box. I wanted just kind of an overall of what they did. And so without any further ado, let's take a look at the box that I got. So as you may be able to see, the sticker was kind of damaged a little bit. That was uh, postal service stuff. But from the looks of it, everything in the box is perfectly fine. Uh, this is a Fortnite plush. It is the Der Burger, um, which apparently was destroyed. Uh, the restaurant was destroyed, which is a shame. Uh, this is a Lego minifigure of Cal from the uh, Jedi Fallen Order video game series. Um, okay, Owlet. That's close, but no. I, I'm not great with my Pokemon knowledge, especially when things are just kind of popping out. And he's got a little Pikachu hat, which is absolutely adorable, right? Um, okay, so like a minifigure wobble, a crack this one up. Hey, hey. Uh, it's a trap. It's not a trap, but it is Admiral Akbar. That's awesome. And apparently when you put them down, they they wobble up, which is fantastic. Um, okay, Sara, I don't quite remember her from the uh, Multiverse of Madness, but I've only seen that movie twice. And I know that that's not great. Um, now I'm trying to kind of dig in to see some of the smaller stuff. Really cool Pikachu pen. Uh, realistically, pens are hard to showcase. Uh, here and then a little Pikachu uh, again, like just a little mini figure, you know, a little tiny little vinyl figure kind of deal. I am not Dragon Ball Z uh, knowledgeable, so I will. That is Dragon Ball Z. That is all I know about that. Um, Hagrid keychain. I, I identify with Hagrid. I kind of look like Hagrid. Um, but yeah, and so. Now we're kind of towards the bottom of the box. Uh, at this point, I'm trying to open the bag. Uh, clearly a Star Wars canvas. It's not super big, but it's a you know decent size. Perfect for going to a con and grabbing artwork and just like popping it in there, which will probably happen in the future. Speaking of artwork, uh, these were like a photo print quality. So pretty dang good. I'm not sure like where they came from. Obviously, we've got some Pokemon representation and then we've got Dobby. Um, I love the stickers. They're super cool. And then this is me just sort of like piecing everything together. But like overall, this is a really cool, very eclectic box. And I, I was digging it. This is something that, <laughs> yeah, there, there's a, there's a little weeble wobble action. So it came with a Funko pop. It came with a lot of like really small stuff. It came with a, a little plush for the size of the box. I was not expecting to get all of this stuff in this box. So I'm definitely going to try something from Geek Crate again. When I'm kind of scrolling through their website, the boxes that they have are really cool. There's a lot of fun stuff that's included in them. And it says like eight to 12 items on a lot of these postings from a like overall post perspective. It looks like the cheapest one is going to be right around like 26 bucks. And the most expensive is 44 so a pretty good bang for your buck. The other thing is, and this is not super new news, but unfortunately, Bambox will be closing their doors when it comes to the mystery box side of things. They're going to evolve into something new, which I'm not 100% sure what that's going to be. But unfortunately, there's only six boxes left. And Bambox has been my favorite mystery box when it comes to like geeky, nerdy stuff. And so I'm going to try to unbox all of those for you and kind of do a little bit of a countdown of the final six. And hopefully there's going to be a really cool surprise in these last final boxes. I don't really know, but I'm I'm pretty bummed. Not going to lie. 
I hate to end this on a sad note, but it's okay because don't worry, I will be back next week with another really fun and unique mystery box, and it's going to tie into the episode that we're doing. So stick around for that, and don't forget to check us out every Wednesday for our regularly scheduled Nerdly the Nerd content. And please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Give us suggestions for future videos, future topics that you want us to cover, future movies, video games, books pop culture references, questions, random questions that you have, we can be the nerd leading you in some of these fashions. We will scour the internet if we do not have the answers to the questions that you ask, and we will come up with our best possible cumulative answer as well as maybe some ones that don't entirely make sense. So anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me on this unboxing, and don't forget to come back soon, because we'll be waiting.